Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Hacksplain here. I am super, super excited. Today I'm going to walk you over a lot of really cool things. And I want to start with showing you that I've updated my OSP G Shop version to OSP G Shop 11.1.3. So we're going to tackle the latest challenges on OSP G Shop. And we're also going to start with the four star challenges today. So that's going to be really exciting. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how to use FF or VUF, whatever you want to call it, and show you a little bit in general about directory brute forcing. All right, let's jump straight into it. So the challenge is called access log. And the description says that we should gain access to any access log file of the server. And this falls under the sensitive data exposure category. All right, so what are we supposed to do? We should find a file which we usually shouldn't find. And if we read something like that, or if we are going off to something like that, this always demands us to brute force because those files are usually not linked on the website. So we have to find them by another way. And for that, I've opened up my Kali Linux machine over here. And what I want to show you today is how to use FFUF or FUF. So let's quickly fire up FUF and show how FUF is used. So if you open up FUF, you see a lot of parameters, but you also see some example usages down below here. And the easiest you can do is just call FUF use a word list that you want to use for your brute force, select the URL you want to fuzz, then use the fuzz keyword as you can see over here in capital letters to tell the tool where to put the words out of the word list into the, the, the fuzzing string basically. And all that stuff behind fuzz is just a, a couple of uh, parameters that we don't need for now. So let's start using fuv. I'm going to say, all right, I want to use fuv. I'm going to use a word list. I have jacked before where my word lists are stored. So if you're using Kali Linux, you can go to user, go to share, say word lists. And there is a couple of very, very good word lists available. I was going over a couple of them and decided to use Derbusters, or oh sorry, Derbs Commons TXT for that. So we're going with that. I'm actually just quickly going to show you how it looks like. So if we have a look at user share word lists, Derb Commons, we can see that this file contains stuff like log files, lost uh, magazine, Magento, a lot of words that could potentially be used by the web application as a full name. So I'm going to get out of that again, jump back to fuv, and next up is the URL. So what we are going to do right now is we're copying our URL. We're going to put it in over here, paste selection, we're going to get rid of all the stuff that we don't need and we're going to say fuzz right over here. So what FF is going to do right now is it tries to send a request to well HTTPS explain to shop latest Heroku app.com slash and then all the words out of the list that I've shown to you out of the common.txt text file. And let's start doing that. Whoops, I am getting an error because I am missing the minus U parameter. So let's add that. And we see that FF is running. And I want to immediately stop it. And what we see is that we're getting a lot of results. So apparently, like all those folders exist. And if you think about it, I, I barely believe that OS2 shop has all those folders existing, like 0, 1000, and 1003, and all that stuff. And if you look over here, they all have the same size. So that's a little sketchy. So let's let's see what 
we actually get back by OS2 shop if we go to, I don't know, let's go to slash thousand. So I'm going up here and say slash 1000. And we see that we're actually getting a valid response back. We're, go, we're, we're getting redirected to the all products page. So it seems like os 2 shop doesn't really mind which folder you put off the the domains slash because it will always just redirect you to the all products page. But let's quickly open up Furv again. I'm just typing Furv. I'm going to the example usages again. And if you look at actually the, the first example, it says filter out those with content size 42. So that's interesting. It seems like in our case, we don't want to have the ones with 1925. So we can make use of that parameter. I'm just going to open up my latest command again and my last command again. And I will say minus FF, FS 1925. So let's see how this looks like right now. All right, this looks better. So we do not see all those false positive results anymore. And I want to quickly go to Burp Suite and show you what the problem was. So if we look at that, where do we have the original request? Slash thousand, here it is. And if we look at that, we're getting a 200 OK response and the content length is 1,925. So this is the response that we wanted to get rid of. So let's go back to our Kali machine. And what we see over here by now is that we have found a folder or a path that actually has a different size. So those are the ones which are interesting and in which we are interested in right now. So assets and FTP and FF is still running. So let's start by going to assets because that's the first hit that we got. We're going to assets. We're going to wait for a second. And this brings us straight to a white page. All right, that doesn't look too interesting. We could check out the source right now, but I'm going to FTP instead, which was the second result that we got. Hey, this looks way more interesting. All right, we're seeing a folder called FTP and there's a couple of files in here. Carentine acquisitions, like all those files seem to be pretty interesting. If I wouldn't go after the access any log file challenge right now, I'd probably go and check out every single file in here and see if there's anything interesting in it. But as our challenge says that a team has probably, well, leaked a couple of access logs on os 2 shop, we got to find out, we got to extract a hint in FTP right now what that team was. And if we look around, we see, for example, incident minus support dot KDBX. So the question might be, is it maybe the support team, which is leaking any sort of locks? Or is it the legal team, as I all also see the term legal in here? Apart from that, I don't see any other terms or words which would relate to any sort of team that could be using OS2 shop. So I'm hopping back to OS2 shop. I'm opening up Fov again and we see that we also found promotion. That doesn't sound too interesting. We also found robots.txt which is pretty common that a web app has a robots.txt file. And we found video which sounds like a folder where a couple of videos are stored. So also not that interesting. But what if we go ahead right now and say instead of fuzzing this parameter over here, I'm going to say, well, we found support and legal. So let's start with support slash fuzz. So what we are going to do right now is we're going to use the exact same word list as before, which is common.txt and try to find a folder which exists 
behind the support folder, like a nested folder underneath support. And I'm just going to start this all over again using the content length filter. And now let's see if this job is finding anything interesting. So let's give this a little bit of time. All right, look at that. Although F of is still running, we already see the first results coming back. And we see that there's a folder called logs with a lowercase l and another one with an uppercase l. So let's go and check both those out. Um, going back to Oath 2 shop, and I'm going to say, all right, I want to see what we find behind support lowercase logs. And we do see an access log over here. So let's remind ourselves that the challenge was to find an access log on this website. So let's open up that file. All right, so we're getting prompted to store the file. Let's do that for now. Okay, let's go back to old juice shop. And let's go back to a scoreboard. And here we go, access log solved. We actually see that we solved the challenge. We gained access to any access log file on the server. With that, I want to thank you once again for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel in the top right corner and go check out all the other videos. Thanks. See you next time.